All right. Well, thanks so much for having me here today. And uh, we're going to talk uh, about some really great strategies here that um, I think will uh, be of great interest. So uh, let's talk about, we're going to talk about butterflies and long condor uh, strategy, which are super amazing. And uh, let me get rolling. So the uh, following uh, presentation is purely for educational purposes. Any stocks, options, futures, ETFs mentioned does not constitute advice and should not be construed as a recommendation. So, you know, what if you had a, a trading strategy that could turn around losing trades and maybe even turn them into winners? And what if that same strategy took advantage of time decay and volatility collapse more so than any other method that you've found? Now, would this be worth your time to learn about it? So when I was thinking about the most valuable go-to trading strategies that could really help every trader out there more than anything else, I knew it was going to be the butterfly and the long condor option spread. So options uh, in general just give you so much flexibility in your trading, but these two strategies, uh, there are so many things that you can do with them. That's what we're going to you know, go through here uh, tonight. So the huge uh, advantage of these strategies are their unique option framework that allows for more consistent, greater returns due to the simple but dynamic structure of the, these spreads. And because uh, they require only a small amount of your capital, you're going to be you know, really reducing your trading stress. Now, the long butterflies and long condors are very dynamic, and they can be traded for a variety of different reasons with uh, different goals in mind. So in other words, you learn how to trade butterflies and long condors, and you're, you're going to be covered for both your offense and defense of your trading, so your goals and protection. So what I've found over my years and years of trading is that these two types of structures uh, not only offer great offense, but are fantastic for hedging. And that's what, what, what's kind of really the aha trading moment when you see how these things can really neutralize and hedge a position. So these strategies can work no matter what the markets are doing. You can have an up market, down market, sideways. Uh, they are going to help you to provide income from stocks that are going nowhere, eliminate the stress of having to be perfect on your stock direction or overall market direction, eliminates time decay expense that you know many traders, all of us are going to experience from time, time decay of long options. They're going to help really help to take the unsettling guesswork out of your trading, and they can be structured at a very, very low cost with low capital at risk. And this type of structure can offer 10 to 1 or higher return to, to risk-reward returns, as you'll, you're going to see. Now, the butterflies and long condors there are very, very flexible, as you're going to see ahead. And once you learn the fundamental setup, you can then adapt these structures or strategies to both your goals and your market insight. So they can be delta neutral or they can be perfect for directional trading. And really, you know, trading comes down to direction and then managing your risk. So these are great strategies for directional trend trades as well. So they can be shaped or structured to offer you either bullish or bearish exposure to the market when you feel pretty sure, you know, a stock is headed in one way or the other. But if you're wrong, the butterfly and the long condor is going to help you to manage your risk and at the same time help you to retain potential for large returns. And, you know, that's always a win-win situation when you're trading. Now, but let's be real about this. Uh, these types of spreads will only um, offer you unlimited, not unlimited profit potential, but limited because they're capped for risk and reward. But they're usually going to cost you a lot less than if you're buying outrights, and they offer really an amazing risk to reward trade setup. So this means that butterflies and long condors can significantly increase the probability of your winning trades while also reducing your risk. And, you know, that's what it's really all about. Now, when we look at the butterflies and long condors, uh, one of the best takeaways you'll see is they can be used for hedging. So when you mess things up and that's going to happen in your trading, they become a really fast, low-cost way to cover your you-know-what when a position starts to move against you. Now, by constructing a butterfly or long condor around a strike that is under pressure from another core trade, such as a credit spread or a debit spread, it becomes a really great way to immediately neutralize and control your risk, which is also going to help lower your trading stress. Now, when we look at uh, a hedge situation, so for example, if you're, you know, I've got original position on and it starts to go against you, you can implement these two strategies to your original position. So this hedging strategy, what it does, it's going to take advantage of the time decay component of pricing of, the, of an option. So a lot of times, you know, you'll get into trade, it looks perfect, you know, when you get into it, it's going your right direction, and all of a sudden it stalls and goes against you. 
and you're not sure what to do and you end up getting stopped out. But if you do this strategy, a lot of times all you need is that little extra time for the trade to work out, stabilize, and go back you know, in the direction that you originally had it set up for. And while you're waiting, the time decay component of these types of strategies are going to actually help you and adjust the cost of your trade down in a lot of situations. So again, all you need a lot of times is just that little extra time to have that trade stabilized and move back in your favor. At that point in time, you can reduce or take off the hedge, stick to your original trade, write it for you know what it's worth. So it really becomes a great way to neutralize a position and, and reduce your, your at-risk uh, of any type of position you have on if you know how to implement this strategy. So when we look at a, a butterfly, it's very, very simplistic. There are a lot of different varieties and variations, but the basic butterfly, we call it a balanced butterfly. You could look at this as a call debit spread, say you're long a call here and then you're short a call here, or it could be a put spread. All right, so you've got a you know debit spread, and in this example, your risk is is capped at three hundred dollars. So you you've got a defined risk trade on here, but you know in trading you never want to risk and lose your whole at risk. So with the butterfly, uh, you can convert the, this particular trade into a butterfly, neutralizing, reducing that risk, and then still have you know a, per, uh, a really good high profit risk rewards trade setup if you want, or you know leg out of the the hedge. So in this situation, you could just sell a call credit spread against it. In this example, you'd bring in $200. So if you did that, then this puts into the structure construction of what we call a balanced butterfly. So when we look here at this butterfly, um, try to get my drawing tool up, you'll see that uh, you just converted that long call debit spread into a butterfly by selling a call credit spread here sharing the same short strike. So now we have what we call a balanced butterfly and within this area here, this is called the tent, you've got potential for a really great return into expiration and you've got this big wide area down here. So you've capped your risk in this example, you've reduced it down to $100 and you still maintain a potential for a really uh, large positive risk return on your capital at risk or you can leg out. You can leg out of your call debit spread or the bear call credit spread, et cetera. So it gives you a lot of different different alternatives or options to, to your trading. Now, the other part of this is what we call the long condor. So similar to the butterfly, but it's not going to share the same short strike uh, of your two different spreads. So instead, you're going to widen out the distance between it and gives you a wider window of potential profit. So uh, this is a really great structure. Again, it can be used just as a single trade for low risk trade setup, or it can be used to uh, neutralize and hedge a trade, but very similar to the butterfly. Now, what are the core concepts that make the butterfly and the long condor such a you know amazing strategy? Well, it really comes down to an options period. Uh, it comes down to profit generation using and, and, and understanding the concept of time. All right, so time, theta and pricing of your options and the effects that these two this major component has on the price of an option so let's take a look at these core concepts that uh, you know uh, put together an option price so the the main uh, core concept is uh, time decay or theta and so this is going to tell us how much an option price will go down over time and that's the rate of time decay of your stocks option and time decay occurs because the extrinsic value or time value of your option diminishes as expiration draws near. And option theta values are going to either be positive or negative. So if you're long a stock option, such as long a call or long a put, those two types of long options are going to have a negative theta value. So it's going to actually, if, if the price of your underlying is going nowhere to sideways, you're going to be losing each and every day because of that negative theta decay against your option, long calls or long puts. Now, the other side of that would be a short call or short put, and they're going to actually have positive theta values. So if your price goes nowhere, that's going to actually be benefiting you each and, day, each and every day from that uh, theta or time decay. Now, when we look at the constructions of a butterfly and long condor, you'll see that they're very similar. But again, the main difference is that your short strike here, you can separate the, the short strikes. You can wind that out, so it creates a bigger window or profit zone versus the butterfly which are sh sharing the same short strike and these can be made with puts or calls it doesn't matter it you know it just depends on 
the market you're trading the environment you know if it's if you want to structure for a long type trade setup butterfly or condor or short and that's going to de determine whether you use calls or puts but those are the two structures now when we look at a butterfly example I'll show you how these can be super low risk but still give you a super high return is here's a, a nice simple example if we look at the famous XYZ company and it's trading at forty five dollars and directionally you're looking for a price target down to 43 so whatever trading methodology you're using directionally you think that uh, XYZ is going to go to forty three dollars so not a big move but you know it's uh, 43 or and it could go up so you can do a really low risk trade targeting 43 by doing a balanced butterfly so in this uh, example you'd buy one March contract of the 42 call you're paying two dollars and thirty eight cents so for one option that's two hundred thirty eight dollars and then you're gonna sell one contract of the 43 call right here so if you look at that that'd be like a call debit spread long a call of the 42 short the 43 you're bringing a dollar sixty seven credit on that so reducing that cost now the other part of this component then is selling another 43 call here and then buying the 44 call okay and so if you look at that that's a bear call credit spread so that structure creates what we call the butterfly or a balanced butterfly and the body is the where you're short the the two contracts there so this this is then you know you multiply it by the number of contracts you want to do but that's the ratio one by two by one so what this does is if you look at the cost component and the at risk you can see the 42 call costs you thirty two dollars and thirty eight cents the uh, 40 uh, 44 call costs you dollar six then you get two uh, credits for the 43's call of the dollar 67 times 100 to convert it to an option spread or contract and so you can see your at risk here is ten dollars all right so that's the most you can lose if the market collapsed down or if it went straight up now your profits going to be the middle strike you take that middle strike 43 less that lower strike 42 uh, less your net debit here of ten cents or ten dollars and that gives you right here 43 minus 42 minus 10 a theoretical potential profit of 90 cents convert that to an option contract or 90 dollars per option spread all right so then your risk is 10 theoretically you can make 90 dollars if it went right here at expiration so if you look at that risk reward that's a 900 percent return or 9 to 1 positive risk ratio so even if you don't you know you're never going to get that max profit but just think if you got 50% of that, 60, 70% of that, et cetera, you still have a fantastic return and on a very low little capital at risk. Now you can shape the butterfly, you can make them wider wing to you know increase your profit potential or, or narrow it to reduce your risk. So a lot of different ways that you can shape these things. And we'll look at some examples here in a minute. Now let's take a look at how to choose the best butterfly or long condor strategy for your trading goals. And uh, one major goal, in my opinion, for every trader out there is to be selecting trades based on what's going to provide you the most consistent positive return with low defined risk and not always looking for that big home run. And one of the best ways to you know, achieve this goal is by being aware of the different option strategies that are available to you, understanding how they work, and then selecting the one that's going to be best suited for the market environment you're trading and your specific goals. So. You know, everybody here is going to have a different amount of capital that you can trade. Charlie might have 10,000 capital account for trading, and and Jane might have 100,000. So it's going to make a difference as to what you're looking for, as far as your trading, you know, uh, strategies. But one thing is, is is true for both of these types of strategies. You can do this with a small account or a big account. It doesn't matter, and so they work on any type of uh, accounts. And the first time I really got into a butterfly was back. Oh, uh, I, I was uh, had set up an over-the-counter option brokerage group uh, for uh, oil, and we were doing a big, huge butterfly uh, structure on on crude oil. So this uh, hedge fund was doing like 25,000 contract butterflies. So it's amazing. So point is, you can do this on a you know one contract, 10 contracts, or 25,000. It doesn't matter. So small accounts or big accounts, but it's the structure and the strategy that's the the most important part of it. Now, when we look at the butterfly, there are a, a number of different butterfly strategies. So you've got what we call, you can use calls, so long call or put butterfly. Broken wing uh, call or put butterfly, sometimes called a skip strike. You've got the ninja butterfly or ratio butterfly. Uh, wide wing butterflies. 
iron butterflies and a big part of the butterfly is using this as a defensive strategy and then you've got the long condor which is very similar but you're just separating your short strikes so a lot of different ways to structure these and they all have a specific reason for you know different types of environments so let's take a look at a few of these uh, strategies here and um, kind of get an idea of how they work so we're going to look at some butterflies here and this is what again what we call a balanced butterfly so both sides are the spreads are the same width now the first one will be a butterfly on SPY, the ETF SPY. So the ETFs are great, the, the indexes are great, SPX, you know, those are great for uh, butterflies. Stocks, some stocks are fantastic. And so here's a balanced butterfly on SPY. And this is going to be a kind of what we call kind of a narrow body butterfly, so very, very low risk on this trade. So again, directionally we're looking for a move up here and uh, I'd like to use Fibonacci for target prices. So we're looking at this FIB level here, the 618, right there, coming in at about 273. And so there's also a lot of option activity here. So it gave it a good target for potential move up. So it's trading down here at around 267 when this butterfly was set up. So directionally, we were looking for an upside move, but wanted to keep a very low risk for this target trade to 273. So the trade strategy, one that you could use here was a butterfly. And this was a narrow, uh, you know, wing butterfly. So if you look here, you'll see why it's narrow. So it was trading at 267, and we were targeting 273. And it's very short duration. You can see it was on the 14th, just looking for expiration two days later on that Friday. So these are great expiration trades because it takes advantage of that option component of selling time and selling volatility. So here was buying the 270 call, 272 call, selling the 273, okay, and then selling the 273, buying the 274. So you've got that call debit spread, bear call credit spread creates in this situation a call butterfly balance with your body right here at that 273 strike. So set up for 10 10 dollars or 10 cents, 10 cents uh, at risk. So dollar wide spread, 100 dollars per option contract or spread. Minus your cost of ten dollars, ten dollar debit there. So the difference is your potential profit. If this was just to perfectly go out at expiration right there at two seven two seventy three, theoretically you could make ninety, but you'll never get that exact amount. But you can get close. So again, you can see it's a dollar wide spread. So that is how you can create your you know risk reward as far as your your amount of at risk is the width of your spread. But you can see here the maximum profit would be ninety. Your maximum risk is ten. So let's take a look at the risk profile on this next slide. So if we look here, you can see the risk profile of what it was doing when it was going out into expiration on the 16th. It's right here, right at the top of that tent. So a little bit of black area in here is what's left of time value and implied volatility. So not totally stripped out, but it was going out very, very close to our target at 273. And based on that, this went from a 10 cent debit or $10 debit to $80, which would be seventy dollars per spread on your risk of 10 so that's a 700 percent return so you know you can do these for very very low cost so you can see how you can get these seven to one ten to one positive risk ratios on these types of structures so it's a pretty cool strategy and it's great for certain situations i like to use these a lot for expiration trades for monthly expiration etc so kind of target based trades so that's a, a balanced butterfly narrow butterfly now the next one is going to be a wide wing butterfly and again on SPY. So this one we're going to widen out the wings to create more profit potential uh, on this spread. And again it's a directional trade. So it's set up for a directional trade targeting 275 uh, right up in here where this 200 day, this was the 200 day moving average for SPY. And so you can see we were targeting right there. Didn't think it would go through but it, would, it was kind of like a magnet kind of pushing it towards that major kind of target of 275 and it was trading right here down around 265. So one way to do this to keep the risk real low but also give potential big payoff was to do this wider wing butterfly five dollars wide. So again we're just widening out the wings to uh, to um, maneuver the, the profit potential for this. So you can see the 270 call long, 275 short, 275 short, 280. So that creates that butterfly five dollars wide targeting right there 275 
All right. So this was a five dollar wide spread or five hundred. The cost of the trade was one hundred six dollars. So the difference is your potential profit, and I call it theoretical because you'll never get the max. So, but theoretically, you could get three hundred ninety four dollars. The difference, and that would be a three hundred seventy one percent return or three point seven to one but on very little amount of risk. So that's the most you could lose if it just collapsed down or went straight up. And what you'll usually do is, you know, I will say, you know, stop out at, you know, 50 or 60 percent of that. So, you know, use a stop of, you know, like $40 versus that. But anyway, you can see here where it was going out right here. See that line right there? So it's going out right here. It actually uh, did not go out perfectly at 275, but into expiration it was going out right here at 276, almost 277, but still, since this is a wide body butterfly, still had a nice profit on that. Of it went from a dollar six debit to 315, so that's a 209 dollar profit per spread. So for one spread, that would be 209 dollars, or 197 percent return on your total at risk of 106. So another, you know, nice low risk type trade setup for a targeted, you know, directional trade. So those are two examples of your wide body butterfly. Now here's another interesting, this is what we call the unbalanced or ratio butterfly, and this is on QQQ, another ETF. So what it is is a variation of a regular balanced butterfly, but it adds an additional short vertical credit spread. So we can directly trade using, you know, credit spreads, so a bear call credit spread, a bull put credit spread. So in this strategy, you just add an additional credit spread to it, protected by your slightly narrower debit spread of the butterfly, and it creates a very low defined risk directional strategy as well, but it alters your risk in one direction and actually increases your return and gives you a credit going into the trade if you do it, if you do it right. So again, this is another directional trade setup. And in this one, you want to use it if you think it could exceed your target. So our target was, we were, price target was 165, but we were thinking, well, you know, it could explode through it because the NASDAQ was pretty strong at the time. So we were targeting 165, but one a strategy that uh, would still pay us if it did blow through 165. So this was then structuring a, a ratio butterfly. So if you look at this setup, then it's basically uh, trading at 160. We're targeting 165 to the upside. So it was buying the 166 put, selling the 165. Uh, again, very narrow dollar wide. So there's your kind of bearish component. And then it was selling two uh, puts, the 165, 164. So there's a bull put credit spread. And you can see the ratio then is two to one. So it's biased for an upside move. So that's the ratio butterfly using puts. So here's the structure when you look at it. You can see here it was a 166, 65, 64 dollar wide spread, so $100 less the credit. See on this one, you actually construct these for credit going in of 57, so that goes to your bank account. The difference is your risk of 43 in this example. So if it was to go out exactly at 165, though, you've got a potential for $157 profit. If it goes straight up, blows through that 166, you get to keep the 57. If it collapses to the downside, you lose 43. So even if you keep the 57, that's still 100% return over, basically. Now, going into expiration, this was pretty close to our target. So it was actually going out at 136 per spread, 316% in two days. So let's take a look. So here's the risk profile on that right there. You can see there's barely any, there's a little bit of a black space in there. That's what's represented the, the, uh, what's left of time and, and any implied volatility into expiration. But this was almost stripped out all that to, to make a profit. And, and, you know, when you're trading options at expiration, what happens? Time goes to zero and volatility goes to zero. So that's what you're taking advantage of. So this went from a 57 cent credit down here to flipping to 79 cent debit. And that's, you know, the 136 per spread if, you know, based on that ratio. So it's a one by three by two ratio. And that's how you you, you, you know, uh, apply your, your volume to it. So what it does takes advantage, again, of time decay, volatility collapse, and very high return on your capital. So another really great strategy for even hedging or, or just, you know, directional. And then here's the, the long condor strategy. So, again, similar to the butterfly, but a little bit different because you're separating the strikes to give you a wider zone of profit. 
So here's another example. This was on a, a SPY, a put debit spread going in for a short trade and then converted this to a long put condor for, for a free trade. So again, a directional trade here. You can see it was trading right here about uh, 274, looking for a target down to this FIB level at 270 right in here. And so did a just a put debit spread for a target here. But then you want to trade when you're trading, you want to think, you know, a couple steps ahead. So we were thinking, okay, what if it hit 270 and, and bounced maybe a little bit below? Maybe we could, and, and then it bounced off. You know, here's a very strong support. Uh, maybe we could look at structuring this to a butterfly or condor to take advantage if it bounces and doesn't exceed that. So this is how the, the flow of the trade goes. So trade one was a put debit spread, the 273 put behind the 270, $3 wide, $65 at risk. That's the max uh, cost of the trade and your max risk. And then the difference is your potential profit. So it's a $3, $300 wide spread. Your cost 65. So theoretically, you can make $235 if it closed at 270 or below at expiration. So nice return there. But uh, on this trade, when it hit our target right there, took off part of the trade for a profit of $98 per spread. So it went from 65 to 163. So 98 which is a pretty good return. That's 150% return on your at risk. But the other part, rather than taking off and closing out the total trade, converted it to a put condor by selling the 268 put short by the 265, right here, 268.65, bull put credit spread then you have, and brought in a $65 credit. So look what happened. You had the $65 debit, right, from your put debit spread here, and then you converted this to a bull put credit spread here, brought in 65. So now you have zero at risk in this trade. And this structure is what we call the condor, long condor. So now you've got this structure here where you've got the put debit spread, 273 long, short the 270. Then when it dropped down, you sold the 268, bought the 265. Now you've got this big wide zone here. If it goes out inside your short strikes, your max profit would be $300. If it goes out anywhere inside of that zone here, you still make money. And it was going out right here at 271.33, which was giving this a still a really nice profit right here at 273. So it was giving you a profit of, uh, when you uh, put everything together, of $165 per spread, $164 per spread, but on zero risk because you just, took your 65 debit, offset that by that credit spread you just did, and so now there's zero risk in the trade. So if it exploded and just collapsed to the downside, you lose zero. If it went straight up to the upside, you lose zero. But if it closes anywhere inside here, you make profit. So very, very cool structure uh, for certain situations. And uh, so then you can see the breakdown. Trade one, you know, just a regular debit spread did good, $98.00. 150% return, but once you converted this, this actually then made 164 on zero risk. So that's pretty nice. Anytime you can get anything for a very low risk, and that's the beauty of options in these types of structures. So if you, you know, if you'd like to learn more about these and how to master it, I've got a really great um, uh, on-demand course for you. Uh, so if you'd like to take advantage of it, let me give you the link here. I think I, I think I've got it here. So take advantage of this. And uh, there you go. Yeah. Oh, let's see. Make sure that works. You should be able just to click on that, and it'll pull up a payment form. And uh, yeah, let me do that differently. That yeah, that that there to go. There you go. Try that one. Yep. Yeah, there you go. And and you'll see there's a promo code. You don't need to put any promo code. So if you'd like to take advantage of this, uh, just click on that and sign up. I mean, this won't be available for too long. You can see if you go to my site, this course is 297 But just uh, for everybody here tonight, for being here, appreciate it. Um, you can get this fantastic course for 97 Now, let's go through what you're going to get and what the course will, will teach you or show you or however you want to describe it. But this is 100% on butterflies and long condors and also on using a strangle strategy. So you're going to get the five plus hour recorded on demand course here. Um, and again, that's on my site if you want to go check it out, 297. But you're not going to, you know, if you take advantage of it now while, while you have the chance. We'll do a follow up live Q&A in about a week or two. You'll get an email for that. 
uh, you'll get my option trading tutorial, which is a really great video tutorial and, and uh, also manual of uh, the basics of options that you really need to understand the Greeks, certain Greeks and option pricing. You'll get my complete option strategy manifesto, 15 different option strategies that you can print out and put on your desktop. And you'll get my Greek power tool guide so you can print that out and put on your desktop of all the different uh, Greeks. So everything here for 97 uh, for everybody that signs up here today. And just use that link there, powercycletrading.com forward slash BFCON butterfly condor one. And so part one is a review of the Greeks that are important to these types of strategies. Uh, the importance and how to, how do you you know use that theta decay and how it impacts the butterfly and long condor uh, volatility the importance of volatility crush how that impacts the pricing of these two structures the price of the option the very important the you know the components of option pricing which is basically time decay and volatility how that affects these two types of strategies and then part two will go into the core concepts that most people just miss about the great way to use butterflies long condors and the strangle which is also covered in this course uh, and then how why and when to use the long call or put butterfly broken wing butterfly ratio butterfly broken wing ratio butterfly wide wing directional butterfly iron butterfly long condor so if you've ever wondered what all these different butterflies are this one course will teach you every one of these t types of strategies in the best time and place when to use them uh, part three is the uh, optimal time frames for using these strategies should you put it on uh, a week out two weeks ten you know ten weeks out whatever so I go through the, you know what the optimal times are and then how can you structure these setups where you get that 10 to 1 or higher risk to reward ratio on these spreads you saw that one uh, earlier uh, strategy that uh, narrow butterfly where you got uh, 7 to 1 and then how to profit from the volatility collapse or theta decay that's a very important part of the pricing component and, and that's what really these two parts of the components what really makes the butterfly and long condor work so you'll understand that how that works and why it works and then how to best utilize the long condor to create the low risk hedge directional trade the long condor is like my one of my favorite kind of go-to strategies for for hedging and then uh, in this course I went and taught the option strangle when to use that strategy it's a very selective event type non-directional strategy so it's a really cool strategy for certain events that could have a big impact on price so you know get, kind of go through the best situation for the uh, option strangle strategy how why and when to use it and then part three is a really cool part of using butterflies and that's for monthly option expiration so love to use like next week will be a monthly option expiration so it really gives you a chance 12 times a year every monthly expiration to take advantage of what we call option pinning you know to take advantage of where a uh, option uh, will go out and, and settle at expiration so it's a great way to make money on that very low risk strategies to do that so it's using price targets for your butterfly for targeting you know to a certain strike that you think that could go out for expiration and how to how to set that up using your unusual option activity in Fibonacci to tell you what strikes might be in play and then a step-by-step -step checklist on when to put the butterfly or long condor or strangle on take them off execution management of these types of strategies and the biggest part you know that you can get out of this course is how to use these strategies for hedging okay so you know we've been in a pretty low environment for volatility lately but you could see uh, last December what it was like so we'll be back there at some point in time so you want to be able to incorporate good hedging techniques in your trading and these are by far the best ways to hedge that you'll find out there so it's a lot uh, and but and you'll also get the resources I've got some really great resources in here on option expiration and then a trading library of these types of trades so a lot of different uh, trade examples so you can go through uh, a library of the trades to look at so I'm a very visual as far as learning and teaching so you get a lot of visual types of uh, training in this course and then you'll get um, finish up here this is just a little nice feedback here from one of my members that took the course he said uh, awesome great content valuable information precisely to the point you're a great teacher and the best butterfly course too so bonus one you're going to get uh, a live follow-up Q&A this will be recorded as well you'll get a link to it we'll send that out by email and then you'll get um, 
you'll get um, my uh, option trading tutorial. So it's a 60-page option guide with videos, covers the foundation of option trading, the Greeks, and how to use those for your different uh, strategies. Uh, bonus three, you'll get my 15 option strategy guide, my favorite option strategies, covered calls, you know, covered puts, etc. A lot of that. Uh, risk reward profiles, definition of what they are, and then you can print. You know, if you're a paper guy like me, you can print those out, put them on your desktop, and then you'll get my options Greek um, for your desktop too. It tells you, you know, what is delta, gamma, theta, so you have it right there at your fingertips. And then for anybody that's never been a member of my trading club, we're going to also give you one free month to our trading club. So it's a trial membership. So you can kick the tire, see how you like it. And if you decide to stay, then it's $97 a month, or you can get an annual membership for $488. So that'll be included as well. We have a virtual trading room open from 9.30 to 10.30 Eastern. Then I'm back in for the close. Daily market video updates every day on the markets. Members, uh, these are all archived. And then a Q&A, live weekly Q&As every Tuesday. We did one today. Traders Educational Vault. You get credits for each month you're paying member at 97. And you get 60% discounts on everything uh, on our website for courses and trading software. It have seven different trading models that you can get access to. And so even if you're a member here on a trial basis, you have access to all that for 30 days. And so that's everything. So, yeah, yeah, thanks, Paul. And Paul just got it, and uh, and I've got one of my members here, Bill's here. He he says and repair. So these are you know ways to adjust and repair a trade. So it's very very you know I talk about options are like a puzzle. So once you understand the fundamentals of the different option type spreads, vertical spreads, then there's so many different things you can do. It just makes a fantastic uh, way to trade and lower your risk and and also reduce your risk and use use it for hedging so uh thanks for you know everybody being here tonight and uh look forward to hopefully working with a bunch of you in the future so again thanks for having me now i think i have maybe a minute or two left if there are any questions oh yeah so question so this course is yours forever right so you'll have a login to a portal on our website so it's kind of cloud setup. So it'll be yours forever. You just you'll have a login. You can access it. All the videos of the course and all the PowerPoint of the course. Very very detailed, very very detailed course. So it's yours forever. And then um, if you want to, the trading membership, you don't have to start tomorrow. You can just send us an email and say, hey, I'd like to start it next week or you know 30 days from now. So that's also fine with us. The commissions will all be different, you know, for the different brokers. It's really best to ask your broker, go look at your broker's commissions and what they can give you. <laughs> yeah, Wayne, another one of my members, he said, really want a great deal. Thanks, Wayne. Yeah, it, it's a great deal. I was wondering if maybe I, it's too good of a deal. Probably is. So thanks, Wayne. So there again, use that link. PowerCycleTrading.com forward slash BFCON1. And again, thank you for having me here tonight. And uh, good luck trading tomorrow. And uh, hopefully I'll see a bunch of you in my uh, trading club. So thanks again.